waiting for it to go live. <laughs> Hi friends, I'm Taylor and I'm here to do another Yen practice with you today. So today's Yen practice is to help you de-stress. It'll be a full body practice, nothing too complicated, nothing too challenging, I suppose. It should be a fairly simple practice and the de-stressing will be on your part. So stress comes when we breathe really shallowly, really rapidly. So shallow breath stimulates the fight or flight response in our brain, which requires our body to send us some chemicals to help us fight this bear, right? But we don't have a bear to fight, and so we're just filled with these chemicals, which makes us stress, which makes us breathe faster, which makes us anxious, which makes us think we're fighting a bear, and it's just on, 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 on. And even though you don't have a bear, I'm assuming you don't have a bear to fight, generally we don't have bears to fight, but there are stressful situations in everyday life, like running out of your favorite cereal or being stuck at home against your will. <laughs> we have stressful situations. And rather than perpetuating that stress by breathing shallowly, I challenge you in this practice today to breathe deeply. So deeper, longer breaths stimulates the rest and digest part of your brain. So that will allow your body and your mind to relax. So your challenge for this practice is to breathe continuously in a deep, intentional way. So that's the de-stress part of the game. It will be a full body practice. If there is pain at any moment, stop what you're doing, adjust, and possibly go back in. If the pose doesn't go right for your body, ultimately don't do it. If there is some discomfort, try to stick with it. Even if it's a little uncomfortable, you can generally breathe through that space and soften in. No pain, only discomfort. Remember, you are the boss of your body, and you are the only one that can determine what is right for you. I'm just here to keep facilitating. So for those of you that are new to yin, it is all about getting into joints and ligaments and connective tissue through stillness. So we'll use our props to build up support so that we can effectively get into the yin tissues. So the props that I recommended today are two blocks. This is a block. If you don't have one at home, you can use a stack of books or a couple pots and pans. A few of these poses, well, actually just one. Just one you may need actual blocks, but you can substitute if needed. Two blankets, just your regular blankets, nothing too complicated about that. If you don't have blankets at home, you can use towels or anything that is soft and rollable and smishy. And then a bolster. This is a bolster. If you don't have one at home, that is okay. You can use a couch cushion or a pillow. Just make sure it's nice and sturdy and smushy and soft. All right, so let's get to it, yeah? So we'll start off in a cozy seat. Feel your hips root down. Feel your spine lengthen up from your pelvis. Stack your throat over your hips, and if it's comfortable, close your eyes. Relax your jaw. Soften your face. And let your body and your mind settle in. And start with three deep breaths. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. And again through your nose. And out. Once more in. And release. Take a moment to scan your body. Notice any sensations, any spaces of tension, and anything else that draws your attention. Know that we're not judging anything that we find. We're just looking for awareness to best serve your body today. Notice where your mind is. If it begins to wander at any moment, don't get frustrated. Don't get stressed. It's perfectly normal. All you need to do is acknowledge your thoughts and then come back to your body and the sensations of your body and your breath. So now tune into your breath. What's the quality? What's the depth? What is the rhythm? Is it rapid? Is it shallow? 
And you start to take your breath a little deeper, a little smoother, a little longer. Remember, deep exhale, stimulate the rest and digest. And that'll help us be stressed. And finally, shift your awareness to an intention, something you'd like to manifest through the practice or simply recognize the reason why you need it to enact today. Yeah. If you don't have an intention for yourself, the intention for this practice is to breathe deeply. So if all you do is stay still and breathe deeply with intention and you will have accomplished everything that you needed from this practice. Whether you've created your own intention or accepted mind, with your next three exhales, send it out onto your mat and out into the space that you're in. One more deep breath for yourself and let it go and softly open your eyes and we'll begin our first pose, which is caterpillar. So grab a blanket and roll it up. Make a little blanket where we go. If you know that your hamstrings are tight, I would recommend stuffing a blanket under your knees. Hopefully it's not still fuzzy. I will try to talk a little louder. So, blanket under your knees. And we will extend the legs forward. So I'm going to scoot up to the camera. I will explain the pose and then I'll show you. So, first pose is caterpillar. You'll have your legs extended out. So just in a seat, legs extended out. You can take a blanket under your knees for a little bit of support. And then you can use your blocks and your bolster to help you fold forward. If your hamstrings are really tense and it starts to feel uncomfortable in your low back, I would recommend sitting on a blanket or another pillow or something to lift your hips up. So now I'm going to scoot back onto my mat and I'll show you what the pose looks like. Got my legs extended. Take the blanket under my knees. I'm going to use my blocks to support my bolster. And then I fold forward. And once you find your space, start to settle in.
We'll take our three cleansing breaths here. After your third breath, softly, gently rise. Move your support. And find your movement. And I'll give you another breath to move. And then from here, we'll move into our next pose, which will be butterfly. So the soles of your feet will come together. Your knees will fall to the sides. You can roll up each of your blankets and tuck it under your knees so that both knees are supported. And then again, we'll fold forward. We're not going to pull or grasp or try to force ourselves to go a little deeper. I want you to allow your body to melt into the pose and continue to breathe in a soft, smooth, deep, intentional way. So now I'm going to go back to my mat and I'll show you what it looks like. Got my blanket rolled up. Roll up my other one. Build up my support. And melt forward.
take our three cleansing breaths here. After your third breath, softly, gently rise. Move your support. We'll come into our next pose. So you'll need one block, medium height. Place your bolster on top. So, next pose is deer. You've got your bolster on your block. You will place one leg in front that is closest to the bolster. So me right now, the bolster is on my left side, so my left leg will be in front and my right leg will be on the side. And you'll bring one hand on either side of the bolster and come down onto your chest. And then I'll show you what it looks like. So left leg in front, right leg off to the side, one hand on either side and come down. We'll take our three times and breath to close out this place. Next 
do a big breath, soft to get the rise. And I'm going to move my bolster to the other side just so that way you don't have to look at my butt. You don't have to move. You just need to rotate. So just in case you haven't figured it out, we're going to take deer on the other side. So same thing, right leg in front, left leg off to the side, one hand on either side of the bolster, and then you'll rest down.
take our three cleansing breaths here. After your third breath, gently lift. Your support. And find your movement. I'll give you another breath to move. All right. So the next position will be a child's pose. You've got a lot of options when it comes to a child's pose. I like to take my knees wide just because I have a little bit of abundance. And so I have room to breathe. But if it feels better for your body to bring your knees together, that's totally fine. If there's a lot of space between your chest and the floor when you get into your child's pose, you can use a bolster to support your chest. You'll just place it between your knees and rest on it. If your knees start to feel a little sassy, you can tuck a bolster under your hips for support. And if your feet start feeling a little sassy, you can roll up your blanket and place it under your feet for a little bit of support. Or you can just take a regular old child's pose, hips over your heels, hands reaching forward, forehead on the floor. So pick which option works best for you, and we'll get into it. Take our three cleansing breaths here.
Now feel your third breath. Press into your hands, lift your chest. Find your movement. I'll give you one more breath to move. Now our next position will be Sphinx. So we'll come down to our bellies, take a block between your forearms. You can start it at the medium height, and then as you find space, you can work down to the lower height. You'll have your elbows either under your shoulders or slightly in front of your shoulders, your hands with palms down, and you'll want to relax all the muscles below your belly button. So you release your glutes, your thighs, your toes, let everything relax, and you can keep your head upright, or you can let your heart sink down like so, and let your head rest on the block. So I'll show you what the second option looks like with melting your chest down and resting your head on the block. Sit down to my belly, block between my forearms, forehead down. Take a three cleansing breaths here. After your third breath, lift yourself up and whatever movement your body needs.
I'll give you another breath to move. And from here, we'll roll over onto our backs. So we'll be taking a supine twist. So you'll bring your arms out, shoulder height, arms out, palms up. You'll bend your knees towards your chest and tuck your knees over towards your right elbow. And the next move that we'll do is just going over to the left elbow. So I won't come up to the camera to explain because it's pretty self-explanatory. So when you're ready, land your back, tuck your knees in, take them over to the right. We'll take our three cleansing breaths here. (sighs) 
After your third breath, come back to center and take your knees over to the other side. So let me make sure that my computer's plugged in because the charger fell off. And twist over to your left side. We'll take our three cleansing breaths here. After your third breath, come back to center. And find whatever movement your body needs. And from here, we'll be moving into our Shavasana. So I will give you some cues before I go into my Shavasana. So you can use your props however you'd like to build the best Shavasana for your body. I'm going to use my bolster under my knees because that's my personal favorite. It allows my spine to have a little bit more space, but you can choose whatever support you'd like. Just lay down, get nice and cozy. If your hands are off to your sides, let your palms face up. Lift your chest and tuck your shoulder blades in towards your spine so they lay flat on your back. Let your legs be nice and wide and let your feet fall wherever they choose to land. 
And then tuck your chin in towards your chest just slightly so that your neck is nice and spacious. If it's comfortable to do so, close your eyes, relax your jaw, soften your face. Let your tongue fall from the roof of your mouth. And every time you exhale, feel your body melting just a little deeper into your mat or into the floor. And at the same time that your body melts down, feel the earth rise up to support you, to carry you. Allow your body and allow your mind to receive that support to surrender into softness. Allow yourself to enjoy this moment with just your breath. Your breath is the only movement that is needed. Feel your belly rise and fall and allow yourself to enjoy this moment of stillness and relaxation. This moment is for you.
As we begin to close out of this Shavasana, bring your awareness to your breath and take your breath just a little deeper for another moment. Broaden your awareness to include your entire body. Notice how there's a little bit more softness and ease. Turn the corners of your lips upwards. Graze your thumbs across each of your fingertips. Then roll your wrists. Spread your toes and roll your ankles. Maybe rock your head side to side. And if it feels right, take a full body stretch. You can choose to stay as you are for another moment, or if you'd like, gently roll to one side. And then when you're ready, gently, softly, slowly make your way up to a comfortable seat with your hands at your heart center. Let's take one more deep breath together. In and out. Bow to yourself. Send yourself some gratitude for making it to the mat today. And send some love and compassion to your very strong, very capable, very beautiful body. Thank you for making your way onto your mat today. Thank you for sharing your practice with me and allowing me to share mine with you via this video. The light in me loves the light in each of you. Namaste. So I hope you're feeling soft and smooshy and relaxed. I hope that you revisit this practice if you ever feel like you're super stressed or you just remember the deep breath. That'll help you de-stress a little. I hope you have a magical rest of your day, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. And we're having classes starting the 18th, so come to my yin class. I would love to have you. Bye!